Hi Virgo, this is Lucky with Lucky 7's Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is your rest of July 2022 general reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, remember that these are general messages. So not every message is not every message will resonate with you if it does great if it doesn't please check your moon and rising sign videos for a more complete message or feel free to get a personal reading my website is lucky if you want to check out what i offer all right remember these can also resonate in the reverse for cross watchers or even for you all right i may be explaining it as if it's happening in your love life and it could be a family member could be a friend could be a co-worker okay so take what resonates leave what doesn't let's do this all right guys so the first thing i'm seeing is i feel like there's a new partnership coming in for you or you guys have partnered with someone okay it could actually be a good partnership okay but i am seeing a couple things here that you may have to work through i feel like there could be a surprise um situation where someone gets hurt physically like needing to see a doctor or having like some type of surgery something of that nature some of you this is a fight like a physical altercation I'm also seeing some of you maybe this is somebody threatening you um, or uh, somebody that um, may try to assault your character okay so be aware of that it's not going to be for everyone but for many of you, I do feel like that is the case, all right? I do feel like there's going to be some good information that comes to you. Unexpected good fortune. Some of you guys, this is like more money coming in big time. I definitely feel like you need to seize the day, seize the opportunities here because I do see good luck coming up, up for you that may make you really happy, all right? Some of you, there could be some information coming in possibly about someone flirting. This may also have to do with your child. Okay, um, a child, uh, what was I going to say? A child wanting to give you some information or um, some news. All right, let's see what the tarot has to say. What's coming up for Virgos, my Virgo family out there. Your first message is the eight of wands, Virgo. All right. I think there's some surprise news or information that's coming in unexpectedly and I think it's going to reveal or give you some clarity. I think it's going to reveal some truth to you or give you some type of clarity. You also have the Queen of Cups and the Devil. Some of you are dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, maybe a Capricorn. For some of you, I feel like somebody you love has is struggling with some kind of addiction. You have the two of cups in reverse and judgment at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys may be making a decision or you may have made a decision to end a relationship or partnership in your life that may have once been significant for you. You've got the two of pentacles. Now, it doesn't have to be a love partnership. It could be a relationship to a family member or a friend. Um... You've got the two of pentacles. I feel like somebody is juggling juggling with the decision that needs to be made all right you've got the queen of swords gemini libra aquarius energy here somebody feels like they're giving more than what they're getting in return they feel like they need to protect themselves and you have the will of fortune as your last card Things are changing rapidly. I feel like they're going to be changing at a really fast pace for you. Let's see what your challenge is. The death card. Scorpio energy. Some of you, there's something that's not working out. It's not coming together. Um, I feel like you've been struggling with this. It's something where you kind of feel like your back is against the wall and you need to recognize that something is over. It's ended. It's not meant for you. It's not working out because it's not supposed to. All right? Your outcome is the Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's like releasing the past. Look at that. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, walking away, letting it go. Like, 
it's over. Whatever this is, it's a cycle that's ended. It's time to release it, time to let it go. And I think it's hard for you to do that. Let's clarify. And if it's not you, it could be somebody else having a hard time letting you go. All right. Yeah. Some of you, um, I feel like you've been fighting against something here, but things are finally going to be coming together for you. You might get some good news that brings financial abundance into your life. I am feeling like some of you guys are emotionally struggling with letting go of someone that is significant for you. Somebody you have feelings for or they have feelings for you and they're the one that's struggling. But it's like there's a, a difficult situation here. Some of you are struggling between being in a relationship or letting it go. All right. I feel like whatever this is, there's feelings and emotions tied to this. Okay. I feel like for many of you... Your money and resources, finances are more important to you right now than relationships. Building a strong future for your, um, for your family, like making more money, that type of thing. Somebody may have even come into your life and um, sort of was the catalyst for you to make more money. Like they did something to you and the way that you choose to shit on them is by leveling up financially, if that makes sense. All right. Um, I do see somebody potentially worried about someone cheating or playing games here. Somebody juggling more than one person. For some of you, you could be worried that you're going to have financial disappointments. Like you're trying to hold on to all your money, your resources, all of that. Because you're worried that money is going to go downhill soon. Or like... The op you're gonna you're trying to seize the day right now so that in the future you know you're preparing for the rainy days to come all right I do feel like somebody here is not trusting their intuition there's somebody that may even be bitter somebody may not be trusting their intuition about a third party situation for some of you. I definitely see many of you m taking the blindfold that you may have had off, making a choice about something that is going to sort of affect your destiny, like where you're going in life. There's, it's. I also want to say, be careful of car accidents. I know that's not for everybody and I don't want to scare anyone, but be careful of a car accident or like an accident with a moving vehicle or something. Um, let's see why the death card is your challenge. Okay. And you have the 10 of swords at the bottom of the deck. You've also got the knight of pentacles reversed, the ace of wands reversed, and the death card again. Lots of Scorpio energy. I definitely see where there is something. Okay, there's something that is not working out anymore. It's over with. It's dead, gone, over, kaput. I don't know how many different ways to say it's done. All right, it's over with. It's hard to walk away though. It's not. It's not an easy thing. It's, this may even be like a missed opportunity because I definitely see where someone, the truth may come out about somebody's betrayal. Okay, somebody wanting their cake and eating it too. Tell me more about this death card. The lovers in reverse. Yeah, there's like, oh, two of cups reverse. You got two of cups reverse twice in this reading. I feel like somebody made some poor choices in the past and now it's a wrap. All right. Tell me why the six of cups is reversed and as far as the outcome. Some of you may have been dealing with a Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus, maybe a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe you have Leo in your natal chart. I definitely feel like there is a breakup or a situation in the past where I feel like you may have been dealing with somebody where there was a lot of passion. You know, it could have gone somewhere. Somebody wanted to work on it and the other person didn't. Somebody may have also been like unhappy with the work that was being put in. Tell me more. 
for some of you, you could have gotten out of a relationship or be getting out of a relationship to get into a new one with somebody else. I mean, obviously, it's not for everyone. I feel like somebody jumped from one ship to the other. All right. Let's see what other messages Spirit has for you. What other important messages do you have for this sign of Virgo? Yeah, you're going to get some truth or clarity. Some of you, it's involving a romantic situation. Some of you self-sabotage or you sabotage a relationship because you've been so focused on yourself. It's like you sabotage your relationships with people. Somebody is stabbing somebody in the back that they were once committed to. And I think that could... There's definitely some type of deception here. Mm hmm Those of you dealing with third-party situations, okay, there is somebody. It's like, I don't know if this is you. I'm not pointing fingers. It could be your cross-watcher. could be you. I don't know. But it's like, those of you in third-party situations, there's somebody that this person loves, and then there's somebody that they love to like have sex with they like you know um I don't, it's like this is somebody that wants their cake and they want to eat it too that's how they have fun you know that's their idea of happiness for some of you this could be that your relationship if you're already in a relationship and things are going fine this could be that your relationship is entering into a more sexual phase okay I definitely feel like someone is stabbed in the back. Like somebody is lying. And I also feel like somebody misses you or you miss them. You may be finding out. I feel like it's because something comes to light, somebody ends up missing out on a situation. There's a situation here that is trying to show up for you guys where somebody is not being honest I see financial support I'm also feeling like there is definitely something that's closing out some of you could be at the end of a financial battle with someone or somebody wants is like battling with you for financial support like they want for some of you I don't know why I'm getting they're using a child to they're using a child as a pawn for financial support that's not for everybody but and that may kind of be coming to an end if that's your story somebody is really toxic mm -hmm. i am seeing i don't know i feel like there's some type of drama chaos around you guys surrounding a, a friendship or a romantic relationship there might be a long-term commitment that's on hold or like you guys are not together or that somebody wants to like pump the brakes it doesn't have to be a love relationship but for many of you that's what i think it is I feel like somebody's got options and they need to make a choice about where they want to be. This is going to, there is somebody that's really frustrated with this situation. They feel like someone has been wearing a false mask. In the past, somebody here had the wool either pulled over your eyes. Maybe you had this with this person. Somebody has secret feelings. Somebody could also be hiding who they're spending money on. Or some of you have a secret workplace relationship. It's either a secret workplace relationship. I'm throwing out all the things because there's more than one Virgo going through more than one situation. So hear me out. Some of you have a workplace like situation going on, right? You're shitting where you eat. Just throwing it out there. Maybe this is your person. I don't know. For some of you, 
somebody could be hiding money or resources or hiding how they feel in reference to some sort of financial situation. Some of you, I do see you um, making peace with somebody that maybe you fell out with. I definitely feel like somebody here has options when it comes when it comes to a dating situation. Random, somebody could be using somebody for money. Like they have feelings for somebody else, but because someone has money or resources, they're using that person for money. I don't know if that's you, if that's being done to you, Virgo. All right. Let's see what else. you guys are saving or trying to save your money I definitely feel like someone wants a higher level commitment or maybe like trying to buy your affection I feel like there's ulterior motive behind this okay I do feel like you guys are more focused on your money than anything else. It's almost like you're, for some of you, your focus is like, you could be worried that you're going to be alone or worried that you're just not going to have enough financially. So it's like you're pushing yourself to do better, to get more, to find more than one way of, of creating income. I do see... You guys, your thought process about something is very stressful, okay? Some of you guys are going to have to spend money to make money. I feel like someone is waiting. Waiting on you to make a choice. I do see someone is worried that you're changing or things are changing, that they're losing some type of privilege with you. I feel like somebody's under a lot of stress. This may be causing a lot of health or causing health problems, mental health, physical health, emotional health problems. Okay, let's see what's going on financially. I know we had a lot of financial cards already, but let's. So you have the five of pentacles and the death card reverse. I feel like for some of you, uh, if you've been having financial difficulty, that's about to change. Some of you, somebody may try to come back around because they're having financial difficulty. I do feel like there might be some somebody traveling to see you or you traveling to see them i don't know this could be like taking a trip things may even come together some of you guys work in the travel industry it feels like finances may be draining you or something is draining you but it's like everything works out in your favor i'm almost getting like this is a child Somebody is trying to use a child as a pawn to get money. Like, I don't know, I'm getting like alimony or child support energy here. Somebody could be overspending, overindulging in things that are toxic, okay? I don't know, food, alcohol, drugs, whatever. Take it for what it is. Anything you do in excess can be toxic for you. What you need to work on is your pride. Some of you, this could be a Leo, something having to do with the Leo. Some of you, this is your ego. You have ego issues. You need to deal with some type of rejection here. Okay? Pay attention to the signs. 
Pay attention to what's not being said. All right. Nonverbal cues. You have sexual arts and patience. Some of you need to work on being patient when it comes to like giving your body to somebody, you know, like wait a little bit, get to know them. Don't just be sleeping with them because, and not to say that that's you, that could also be somebody with you, you know, like maybe you guys want to take it slow or whatever and they don't, you know, but for many of you, this could be that you need to be more patient. You need to get to know the person better. You need to ask more questions, etc., cetera, uh, before you just jump into the sheets with somebody here, all right? You guys are going to be like, hell no, I ain't sleeping with nobody the first night. Oh, my God, da 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 That's not what I'm saying, but sometimes, you know, you, you need to hold back a little bit. Let's see what song may be significant for you. Pieces by Tamar Braxton. Somebody doesn't want pieces of you. They want the whole thing. They don't, they want to be number one in your life. And maybe this is you with somebody else and you have karma by Queen Naja. So listen to those songs. They may be significant to your story in some way, Virgo. Let's see what advice Spirit has for you. Stop pretending. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with other people. You know, the grass is greener where you water it. If you're one of those people that I'm talking about that's cheating or you got like a karmic situation going on where there's too many people involved, the thing is, be honest. Be honest. If you're not happy, be honest. There's something about needing to cut the dead weight. Cut things out of your life that don't serve you. Be productive. Focus on your goals and what you want. All right? be confident so there's a need for confidence in this situation for you to know what you want and you can have results or you can have excuses but you can't have both this is where you need to take accountability what is it that you want in your life how do you go about getting it all right and prepare for change so things in your life are about to change shape what direction will be determined by you all right that is what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live and when I post new videos. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.